So here I'm going to put uh, three insulators on the post at approximately 46 or 45 uh, inches from the ground. So what you'll see is this insulator on this side, I'm going to put just the bottom one in. The bottom screw in. Okay. The reason I do that is when I go to put the wire on, I just have to fold it this way and it'll pop onto the wire. Now on the stack insulator, I put both uh, screws in. So I don't have to, uh, with that one, I don't have to uh, twist it. Now on this side, I'll put the screw in the top. Now the reason I do it on the top on this side, again, this will slide, you can put the wire through, and put it down. It just makes my life much easier. Alright, so here I'm going to put the wire in. I know this is, you know, it's, it's a very simple thing. But I like it because it just makes it nice and simple, very easy to fix. So the back insulator, just put it in like this. The 
side insulator on that side just folds in and then on the other side okay on the other side insulator just pops up like that you set it down okay so now uh, before I make my tie I go and put the second screw in like that and again these are one inch drywall screws I've seen uh, videos from um, Australia and uh, New Zealand where that's the kind of tie that they, they do. And when um, I was taught to do that uh, by some Kiwis, I was just so excited about it because I thought, oh, that's going to be fantastic. However, that first winter, I had five of these ties break when Elk went through. And it all broke right there. So I don't do that anymore. Okay, so here's the tie. This is what I was taught uh, many years ago uh, by a Gallagher rep. Uh, you build your handle and come around. And what I like to do is 15 to 18 reps. I used to only do 8 to 10, but what was happening was that elk and moose would go through and this tie would unspool. Since I've gone to 15 to 18 wraps, I have not had an issue with uh, this tie coming uh, undone. Again, so what happens uh, in the spring, basically all I would have to do all I have to do for maintenance is replace insulators. Okay, another way to make this tie that I actually like a lot better is because my wrist is quite um, uh, getting older is I use the fencing pliers. So I just pull just enough tension so I can uh, get a nice tie. And I just let it slide gently through. Alright, so now we're at the other end of uh, the line. And I'm going to demonstrate how to tie this with a set of fencing pliers. Uh, I have kind of wonky wrists, so that's why I like to do with the fencing pliers. Saves my, uh, saves my wrist. So again, come back to the back, pop that through, and we only put one uh, screw in there, so that makes it nice and easy. And then, same thing on the other side, bend it the other way, turn the other way, close that up. So now I'll grab, I'll grab my fencing pliers, pop that in there, give it a little band, just hold it, and there. So I'll just give it a good pull. You don't have to do it super uh, tight right now because we're going to actually use a strainer on the other end, or not a strainer, uh, a round uh, tightener. Okay? So I'm just going to go under it here. And what I like to do is I like to get as close to the post as possible. So I'll just come down and go like that. Okay. So now I can, uh, it's kind of locked right now. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of that tail off. Just to make it a little easier. 
easier. Now here's what I do with the fencing players. I just come in here and I get a bite close to the wire and I start turning. And I'm just going to let off a little pressure so that it slides through nicely. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to demonstrate the, the uh, splice again. Uh, what happened here is the roll was a little, just a little bit short to get to the end post, so you have to make a splice. So remember, just roll that over nice like that. Then we're going to take this end. Same thing, just a little longer tail rope. Okay. Now we'll go like that. Twist. It. And this one, I'm just going to poke right into there. Right. We'll pull it back. I use a bowline because it can come undone and it doesn't slip. So see that right there? It just stays uh, as a loop. Okay, now the recommendation uh, for this bungee is to go about a third of the length of your gate. Yeah, so that'll be a nice. Okay, and then I just cut it there. Now something that hasn't uh, 
that I haven't figured out very well is how to attach uh, my turbo wire and my bungee. Um, I should say I haven't figured out. I, I just, you know what, I think there, there's a better way uh, than what I do, uh, but I haven't figured it out yet. So I just use this knot and it seems to hold. Let's just tighten that up there and tighten that up. Then we'll come back and we'll uh, cut the tails off. Okay, so now we go to this other end. Okay, and we'll just measure this up here. As you can see, this top wire uh, is barbed wire. Um, I don't recommend that, but it was here. And uh, next year we're gonna re be replacing this stuff, so I just left it here for now. Okay, and you go and cut it. And guess what I forgot? My two gate handles. I'll be right back. So we have this handy dandy homemade gate handle. Uh, it's just made out of uh, double insulated wire. You can see it has an eye on the one side, on one end, and then the hook on the other. Now, made a tie here, just so that you can um, your hand doesn't slip. To do this nice, uh, I do it in a vise, and I will do another video. Uh, demonstrating this very thing. Okay, so now we'll tie this on and we'll just go up and do a measurement just so it's snug. Good. And I come and again hold it. In the hole, around the tree, and back up out of the hole. That's a bullet. Okay, so there we go. And then in this case, normally I would just, uh, well, I'll do it down here. So this is how you can hook onto the water. Just like that. The reason I do it like this and not the other way is when I unlock it, there's no power. So when it's on the ground, it won't be snapping. So uh, your livestock. And if you're uh, riding a horse, your horse will be freaking out. Okay, so now, uh, just to do this quick, I'm just going to do this top one. And I'm going to finish it off. So this is the last thing I do for gates. I use tuck tape. The reason I use tuck tape, there's two things. One, I have found that wildlife, they can see it for quite a ways, so you have uh, fewer uh, gates uh, that get damaged. The other one is actually for your livestock. So they can see the gate really well before uh, they come upon it. So if you have a big herd and they're uh, maybe they're on a run or something, they'll be coming to the gate, they can see this little flag a lot sooner, so then they'll veer off. Whereas uh, a lot of times it'll be uh, at the last second that they see it, and then the cattle behind them will go and push them through. The other thing, when you're driving, you can see the gates better, and you don't drive through them. Quad or your truck or whatever. that and the last thing I'm going to do there go. I'm gonna go and cut the tails off because tails are no good when you're fencing Wow another beautiful gate Tom so now it's time to tighten up our wire uh, we have the um, Tied off at both ends. Insulators are all done. So here's a type of insulator or a tighter that I like. 
lines in, in line. And these come with a, um, uh, with a nice ratchet uh, tightener. And I'd actually recommend that. Uh, just that I forgot mine uh, at home. So I'm going to go back to the way I used to do it with the ratchet. Not as safe, uh, not as easy to do, but it works in a pinch. Uh, one other thing uh, that I should mention is that I like to I like to um, uh, have everything standardized. So what I do is I put these um, three to five meters from where the power is going to come. So the power is going to be coming from the main fence here, and it's going to be going that way. So one, two, three, four meters. So then put my uh, tightener on and I just start tightening. Okay. Now, with, uh, probably most everybody knows with high tensile, you don't put it as tight as you do with barbed wire because you want some uh, give to it because it's kind of like, it's, um, well, when the Gallagher guy taught me uh, how to do this 19 years ago, he talked about it being a system. So, part of the system, you want some give in it. So if animals, uh, wildlife come, and they hit this, they'll flop over. So now I'll just put the, uh, put the second one on. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using my hand to hold, hold the tightener as I take another wrap on my, um, on the ratchet. There, that's the trick. Again, this is going to uh, how I was uh, taught uh, 19 years ago by the Gallagher man. He said, when we do this, uh, it creates less resistance and because there's more surface area and the wires, the two wires act as one. So I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what he told me. and. He wasn't known to lie too often, except when he had to. So I'm going to believe him. Okay, so this is how I tie it in. I used to go and, and wrap, and you know what? It just, if you want to uh, take it um, and change it, then you have to unwrap that wire, and it just, uh, I don't know. I prefer this, but uh, if you have another way, go for it. Again, I'm not a master fencer. Uh, what I do, what I'm showing you here is something that I find works, um, has very little maintenance to it, and I'm all about having very little maintenance. If I can find some way uh, that is easy and simple, and then I don't have to mess with it again, I'm all over that. So I think that's about it. Um, again, I'll just reiterate, I'm not the master fencer, but you can probably see that uh, by this video. Um, but this template that I have, um, it's standardized, and this is the way 
I build all my fences now. And I've been doing this, I've developed this temp template maybe, uh, say about 10 years ago. And it's, it, stand, uh, it stands up. And uh, again, uh, we live in a, or I live in an area where there's lots of uh, moose and elk. And in the spring, basically all I have to do is go with my cordless drill and a bag of insulators and uh, screws and replace some insulators. And not even that big. So, peace out.